picture from our ADOT camera. This is the Loop 101 in McDowell. Look at that. Barely a few cars there on that part of the freeway. So things are looking pretty good this morning. A lot of green on our maps. No major issues at this time. We still have the surface street accident that's in the clearing stages. Hopefully it'll move out of the way pretty soon. But it's on 7th Avenue in McDowell. A little bit of yellow around it now, but not too bad this morning. I'll keep you updated when that one clears up. And then I'm going to give you a look at our weekend closures coming up in my next report. Rachel? Thank you so much. On our map, so we do have a couple accidents. This one's in the West Valley on the I-10 eastbound at Miller Road. No major delays around that one, but still drive with caution until it's completely out of the way. Another one popped up on the I-10 westbound at 40th Street. No major issues around that one either, so I'll keep you updated when these clear up, and I'll give you the details on the weekend closures coming up in my next report. All right, Vanessa, how we doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, oh no is correct. Look at behind me on our ADOT camera. We do have an accident that's causing some delays for you this morning. It's the I-10 westbound near 40th Street involving a motorcycle. So they're trying to clear the accident out of the way, and it's causing some issues. We see a lot of backup here. And once we go to the maps, we also have another accident on 32nd Street as well. So we do see some issues on the I-10. As you hit baseline, that's where you start to hit that slowdown and all the red zone and the orange zone there. So definitely allow yourself some extra travel time when you're heading out on this part of the freeway this morning and hopefully it'll clear up within the next few minutes. We do have a couple other accidents with our surface street accidents and then we have a little bit of traffic here on the I-10 as you're heading towards downtown Phoenix at 43rd Avenue and then then at the stack again it's moving at 35 miles per hour so just drive with caution in that area. Rachel. Thank you so much.